I'm glad mental health is at the front of the budget and that it received a relatively large amount of money. $1.9 billion dollars over five years. Mental health has come out of the shadows into the light of day and has now full attention. The focus on mental health in primary care is great. If the promised 1600 new mental health workers will really one day be trained and working in primary care, we could prevent some people's mental illnesses becoming so serious that they need hospital admission. Maybe in five to six years time, we will start to see improvement. What I'm worried about is our hospitals and the 5% of patients with the most serious mental illnesses. Our mental health wards are bursting at the seams with far more beds filled than we are paid for. We all know that our buildings are not suited anymore for the current time or level of occupancy. But even more important is our lack of staff. Our main tools of treatment are people, qualified mental health professionals, of which we are very many short. We need more psychiatrists and doctors who want to train to become psychiatrists. We need qualified nursing staff and students interested in mental health nursing. We need psychologists, occupational therapists, social workers, drug and alcohol counselors, and many other professionals. Are we providing an attractive enough working environment for these professionals to come and work with us? We need good leadership in mental health to ensure this funding is used where it counts.